Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video on how to treat a urinary tract infection, a UTI. This video is part of a video series on sexual problems and for those of you who want to keep on learning, check out the playlist after watching this video. For those of you I'm meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer, because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions, which is the whole point of this channel. This video also comes with a quick disclaimer. It's meant purely informative. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. And now quickly, let's get started. So in this video, we will cover how to treat a urinary tract infection. But before we do so, I thought it would be important to exactly explain what a urinary tract infection is. A urinary tract infection typically starts when bacteria enter your urinary tract, usually through your urethra, which is the tube through which you pee. In there, they begin to multiply, most commonly in your bladder. This is also called a bladder infection or a cystitis. When it affects the upper urinary tract, it's called a kidney infection or a pilonephritis. These infections are in 80 to 85% of all cases caused by the E. coli bacteria of your gut. In 5 to 10% of all cases are caused by the Staphylococcus saphrenicus and rarely urinary tract infections are caused due to viral or fungal infections. In addition, there are several risk factors which can increase your risk for developing a urinary tract infection. Most commonly is sexual intercourse. In young sexually active women, about 75 to 90% of all cases of bladder infection are caused by sexual intercourse. And this increased risk due to sexual intercourse is not seen in postmenopausal women. The second risk factor is female anatomy, as the urethra is much shorter than a man and closer to the anus. This will make it more likely for E. coli bacteria from your gut to enter your urethra. The next risk factor is menopause, as estrogen levels in women decrease over time. This will also lead to a decreased vaginal flora, which in time increases your risk for developing a urinary tract infection. Other risk factors are obesity, family history, blockage in your urinary tract, like kidney stones or an enlarged prostate, an impaired immune system, diabetes, the usage of a catheter or recent surgery in your urinary tract. And depending on the type of urinary tract infection, your symptoms might differ. When dealing with a lower urinary tract infection, you might experience discharge, a burning sensation when peeing, frequent peeing, blood in your urine, pelvic pressure, and pain in your lower belly. And if you're having an upper urinary tract infection, you might experience upper back and flank pain, a high fever, shaking and chills, nausea and vomiting. Lastly, in young healthy women, a urinary tract infection might be diagnosed on symptoms alone. However, if you're older, if you have frequent urinary tract infections, or if you're a man, you should always contact your doctor. In complicated cases, a urine culture might be useful in the diagnostic process. Which brings us to the only question you wanted to have answered anyways. How to treat a urinary tract infection. Which brings us to the first tip. Drink a lot of liquids, especially water. It's recommended to drink six to eight glasses a day. Drinking water helps to dilute your urine and ensures you urinate frequently. Flushing the bacteria out of your urethra before an infection begins. The second tip is drinking cranberry juice. There is a lot of research done to see if cranberry juice prevents you from actually developing a urinary tract infection and the medical evidence is inconclusive. However, some studies show it indeed helps. Then wipe from the front to the back. Doing so prevents spreading from bacteria from your anus to the vagina or urethra. Other common tips are pee right after sexual intercourse, avoid using irritating feminine products, take showers instead of baths, wear cotton underwear and change your underwear daily. And if you still can't get rid of your urinary tract infection after all these tips, it would be time to visit your doctor for a medical examination. And if indeed your doctor shows that you are dealing with a urinary tract infection, he might start any of the following treatments. A simple urinary tract infection can be treated with one of the following antibiotics nitrofurantoin, cephalexin, ceftriaxan, trimetoprim or phosphomycin. In addition, your doctor might prescribe you painkillers to lower any back pain you might experience, abdominal cramps or any other discomforts. And if you're frequently dealing with a urinary tract infection, your doctor might recommend you to take a low dose of antibiotics for six months 
a single dose of antibiotics after sexual intercourse or start with estrogen therapy in postmenopausal women. And I hope you learned now how to treat a urinary tract infection, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And for those of you who want to keep on learning, check out the playlist in the description or up there. Before you go, I quickly want to thank my sponsors on Patreon. Thank you, Sebastian, who is an investor to your supporter, and thank all of you for watching this video. Now, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like for all my hard work and consider subscribing so I can keep educating you, which will also help to speed up my process to 20,000 subscribers. And consider following me on Instagram and posting there pretty much daily. And as always, I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye.